In this lecture, I want to cover how to use the navigation pane to traverse and rearrange your book. Now, the navigation pane is going to become the core element, that and heading levels, to outlining your book. These are going to be the key features of Microsoft Word that we're going to use to do outlining. So this is going to be an intensive course. Let's, or this is going to be an intensive lecture. Let's jump over and I'll to Word and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now first of all, I want to show you the navigation pane using both a non-fiction, non-hierarchical, or rather a fiction non-hierarchical structure like this. This is a fiction book, and you can see it just has chapters. It doesn't have sub-chapters, and they go down here in the navigation pane from one to two. Now, the more complex version of this is the Fic or the nonfiction version, which has a hierarchy of numbered chapters you can see here in the navigation pane. Now let's jump back over to the fiction version, and I'm going to show you what you can do the navigation pane. Now, first of all, you can get rid of it by clicking on this little X up here. Now, when do you want to get rid of it? Let's say you're comparing two documents, a Word document, this collision course, and something else side by side, so you minimize the pane. Well, look, here's your document down the middle now. You can no longer see it because the navigation and the pro writing aid panes dominate the scene. To get rid of them, just click the little X in the pane and they'll go away. And now you'll be able to see your document. So the times to get rid of the navigation and any other panes that you've got permanently on is when you're minimizing the window to compare two windows. Now, most of the time you run your windows full screen. So what we want to do is go to View, the View menu, and down onto the ribbon, we want the Show part of the ribbon, and click on Navigation Pane. Now we've got our Navigation Pane. The other thing that I could do is I could start running Pro Writing Aid again, too. I don't necessarily need that because I'm not editing my document, but this is the balanced look that I kind of like to my documents. Now the Navigation Pane has more than just this navigation thing. Here I can look at Pages. So I can navigate by pages in my document or search results. So notice there's a search box here. I can search for, in the search box, search for space. And it shows me all the chapters that contain space. And I can go to those chapters and I can look. So that's how the results tab here works. Here are all of the references to space in this document. So I've got headings. What I find to be the most useful, pages, I don't find this to be useful at all, but these are the pages that contain the space reference. If I want to get rid of space, just come up here and click the X on the search box, and my search will go away, and now I see all the pages, or the results from a search string, or from a search on the document. Now, let's look at the headings part of here. Now, if I click on this little funny-looking up arrow thing, it takes me, let's go to chapter one. If I click on this little funny up arrow thing, it takes me to the table of contents, so the very first page. Otherwise, I can navigate to pages here or chapters just by clicking on the chapter here in the navigation pane. But I can do more. Look at this. I've got chapter four, Alice Analyzes, and chapter three, Salvage Operation. Now, what happens if I grab... I'm holding my mouse button down on chapter four here so I can drag it around. Notice it's saying, where do I want to place it? Let's say I want to place it before salvage operation. And notice my chapters automatically renumber. So I can renumber and rearrange chapters here. This is key to outlining a document. Now, the other thing that's really helpful in outlining is your undo button here. Remember that. Undo is your friend. If I undo this, it goes before salvage. If I undo it again, it goes after salvage. I've just undone all my operations. The other thing that's key is to save periodically and only save when you've got a good version of your document so that you can, oh, at the, any point, I can come here and I could say, close this document It'll say, do you want to save the changes? And I say no, and I just reload the original document. And there I'm back to my save points. So that's how you get back to save points. Now, the other thing that you can do, let's jump over to 
the hierarchical nonfiction version of this document. Here you can see that it indents the subchapters. So here we go from chapter one to subchapter 1.1, and it indents them in the navigation pane all the way up to three, however deep you want to go. Now, I recommend not going further than three or four subchapters deep, as we're going to talk about when we talk about decomposing a nonfiction document. But check out this that I can do. Let's say I want this to be at a higher level. So I don't want it to be 1.1. I want it to be option two at the top level. I can right-click on the item in here, and I can say... I can add new headings before and after, but I can also promote. There we go. So now I've promoted this to a level two. So I can promote and demote levels through the document in a nonfiction hierarchical document. And then I can undo that and I'm back to 1.1. Uh, other things that I can do on the right click. Okay, I can put a new heading before. So here's a new 1.1 before, and I can give that a title. I can put a new heading after. A new subheading, I can put a 1.1.1 below here. There we go, and I can undo that with my undo button. What else can I do here? I can delete, and by the way, deleting deletes not only the chapter, but all subchapters. If I delete introduction, it's going to get the entire introduction section, including 1.1, 1.2, and 1. Point, all the way through 1.4, it will get rid of the entire section. So it knows about hierarchies. This is just a marvelous way to outline documents. So this is how you navigate a document and how you rearrange a document using the navigation pane. Now, the last thing that I want to point out to you is this really throws me. If I didn't have my navigation pane on the left like this, I wouldn't know what to do. And I wouldn't know a reason to put it somewhere else. But if you click this little downward arrow, notice this. I can uh, move. And up comes this little movement icon, and I can drag my navigation pane over here to the right, if supposedly I want it on the right. Now, once again, I can't undo that function. So let's drag this back to where it belongs on the left. I would really be lost if it wasn't on the left, but you can do that. The other thing that you could do is let's say you're not reading, see we're not reading the full uh, chapter or subchapter title here. I can move my cursor to the edge, the right edge of the navigation pane until I get this two direction arrow. And then I can stretch it out so that I can read things. Now don't stretch it out too far because notice what you're doing to your main menu. You're shrinking it. So I like to get a nice, comfortable size where I can read most of the chapter headings. And that's how to use the chapter, and that's how to use the navigation pane to navigate chapters and to rearrange them. This is going to be a key to outlining documents in Microsoft Word.